Before I proceed with this video, I have to pause for a moment and I have to say thank you so much. Thank you to each and every one of you who has allowed this transition for me coming back to Keller Williams Preferred to be super easy, really seamless, um, super smooth transition, and of course, extremely welcoming. I could not have done it without each and every one of you awesome individuals that I get to work with on a daily basis. I'm beyond blessed to be back here at Keller Williams with a company uh, whose values the bloodline of thought process and stuff so match and mirror the desires that I have for my personal career goals. So I'm super excited about what we're about to do for uh, 2019. The whole purpose of this video is to let you know, first of all, that in the coming months throughout 2019, I'm going to be providing a series of videos like this. They're just going to be top tips that you can take, apply to your businesses, certain things that might help you with your buyers and sellers and whatnot. Maybe some things that are actually KW infused so that you know what's coming down the pipeline. But nonetheless, I want to be able to provide these top tips for you, at least on a monthly basis. And so with that being said, I want to really encourage us to hit 2019. The theme that we're kind of adopting informally for our office is called raising the bar. That means a higher level of excellence, a higher level of customer service, a higher level of service to our clients, a higher level of professionalism between each other, and just a general increase of our office growth and production, image, all that fun stuff that we're really going to produce for 2019. Lobby renovation is almost done. A few of the other smaller renovations throughout the office is almost done. Very light renovations just to give us a good little facelift and kind of provide some light, fresh, airy revitalization into the bones of Keller Williams here in the Saginaw and surrounding areas, which I'm really, really excited about. So Move into 2019, I want to encourage you simply of this. I want you to look at yourself and start to reevaluate all of the whys in your life. Now, as we get ready to go forward and as we get ready to hear top tips, maybe even from some suggestions or, or best practices from some top producers or whatever the situation may be specifically, we have to do it with all the right intentions. So I want you to reevaluate all the whys of your life. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you not doing what you're doing? Why aren't you doing something you should be doing? Ask yourself all those questions and identify the bad whys. I want to encourage you to eliminate all the bad whys, okay? Now you may ask yourself, what is a bad why? Look at it like this. A bad why is worries that hinder you. W-H-Y, why? Worries that hinder you. Those are the bad why. The bondages, the limitations that cause you not to be as productive as you should be or not to cause you to grow and excel in the goals that you have for 2019. Those are the things that have to be eliminated. So uh, you may find yourself spending time in areas that are just not fruitful for you or not productive, or you may find yourself kind of in certain things of your businesses, spinning the tire in the mud, so to speak, where you're not really going anywhere, but you're putting a whole lot of effort into something that's not producing for you. Those are all bad whys. And those are all the bad whys that we have to eliminate so that when we start to install these best practices and when we start to provide best uh, top tips, and we start to really hash the training that's coming down the pipeline for us that we are in a position to maximize that information. So just to recap, we're going to be providing top tips as we get ready to launch into 2019. 2019 is a year of raising the bar, a higher standard of everything across the board. And to help us do that, I want you to eliminate all the bad whys, the worries that hinder you. W-H-Y. Those are all the bad whys. I'm so looking forward to what this year is about to bring for us. Of course, as you know, I'm always available. If you have questions, concerns, or comments, you're more than welcome to call me, email me, stop in the office, whatever you have to do. It's best comfortable for you according to your communication preference, but I'm always available for you. And I'm so looking forward to all the great things that 2019 is going to provide for us. So good luck, and I'll see you at the top.